Mary had a little man, man, man. The Pope. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Changes come to America. Believe me. Help is on the way. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey. It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your mind. 80% of my time is working on the plans of what's necessary to, to take control of these bureaucracies. Um, and we are working doggedly on that, uh, whether it's uh, destroying their agency's notion of independence, they're independent from the president. Mm. Vote has also been preparing documents based on fringe legal theories, arguing the president has the power to use the military against protesters. You know, George Floyd obviously was not about race, it was about uh, destabilizing the Trump administration. Right. Uh, we put out, for instance, a 50-page paper designed for lawyers to know that the president has you know, the ability both along the border uh, and elsewhere to maintain law and order with the military. And, and that's something that, um, you know, it's going to be important for, for him to remember and his lawyers to affirm, but we've, we've given them the case for that. With loyalists installed in key government agencies and armed with his playbook, Vote believes a radical Christian nationalist agenda can be realized under a second Trump presidency, for example, on abortion. So I think the president's actually come up with a, a strategy that works so long as you are giving people like me in the government the ability to block funding for Planned Parenthood, block funding for fetal tissue research. But what I've told people is he had the most pro-life record ever. I've never seen him take it to stand in the way of a pro-life initiative that actually was real yeah. politically and with momentum. These people are trying to uh, bring fascism here to the United States of America and enrich themselves while doing it. And that is the name of the game. That is what Project 2025 was all about. It's what it is all about. And the authors of various um, chapters of Project 2025 are now nominated to take key positions in the American government. And when you understand you know the, the the nature of all these people and that their nature is to be uh, sex pests at the very least uh, pedophiles at the worst uh, you know uh, guys who who, who uh, you know uh, prey on 12 and 13 year old boys you know their predilections are so grotesque and for Donald Trump uh, you know he's a, he's he's an adjudicated a uh, rapist they're all birds of a feather and they F something together, okay, is, is what they, I'm sorry, it, it, everything with them is, you know, uh, uh, it's all about the, the penis. Even, even their hatred for trans people is all about the penis. Everything is about the penis. Everything has to do with the penis. They're all bonded around the penis. I'm so sick of government that's run by dicks for dicks because it's about dicks. I, I'm so sick of it. I'm so tired of it. And we were this close to having a woman president, this close, 236,000 votes in three swing states. If they would swing the other way, we would have been like, uh, you know, celebrating progress and freedom and, uh, you know, moving forward and getting past all this. But oh no. Oh no. And, and, and I'm telling you, this is why when you look at guys like Mike Johnson, right, you're a man of God. You're a man of family. Why do you put up with these sex pests? Why do you, uh, you know, uh, sacrifice at the altar of, uh, you know, uh, Pete Hedgesack? Why, why are you sacrificing at the altar of uh, Matt Gates? Why, why are you sacrificing the altar of Donald Trump, who has five children by three different baby mamas? Okay, what is this about for you? He won't tell you, but it's about Christian nationalism, and they will tolerate any rapey behavior. They will tolerate. Matt Gates and Pete Hedgeseth and, 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 and Robert Kennedy uh, uh, Jr., they will tolerate all of this raping, all of this pillaging in the name of Christian nationalism. Seriously. They think they're this close to fascism. Tim Burchett, he's another one. Tim Burchett, you know the folksy guy from Tennessee? He always seems like, you know, uh, well, I'm just, you know, living my, my, my Bible-driven life. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to upset anybody here, but i uh, got to say, you know. Uh, Christian nationalism, truly. 
Sean Duffy is from the real world, the real world, and dancing with the stars. He has no experience in anything, anything at all. And he's been nominated by Donald Trump. You know what? I was just like, it, 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 it's, it's designed to make us fail. It's designed to make us Argentina. You know how they said, uh, let's make America Florida again? Oh, they've downshifted way past Florida. They're now down in South America making America Argentina is what it is. And if you don't, if you don't understand it, Last Thursday, okay, last Thursday, the Argentinian president, Javier Millet, who speaks like, uh, you know, very tortured English, he's not, uh, you know, a very, um, uh, let's say, educated person, because, you know, people who are educated in, uh, you know, uh, international schools and stuff, they, they all speak English, okay, they, they just do. Like, if you go to Poland, you know I want to go to Poland before you can't go to Poland, because, uh, you know, Poland is, uh, you know, uh, in the sights of one Vlad. And, uh, you know, and it's the same thing with him, with Vlad in the church, right? He's a Russian Orthodox uh, person, right? And before him, there was no religion. There was no, because it was communist, you know, and there was no religion at all. And same thing with, uh, you know, President Xi, no religion, communist China, no religion. You know, their religion is uh, stamping out religion. Anyway... Uh, Javier Malay went down to Mag- Magaloco, and uh, he addressed and glad-handed all the crowd there at uh, Donald Trump's uh, uh, private club. He was the first foreign leader to meet with President Donald Trump following the uh, election, right? Last time it was the Saudis. How'd that work out for us? Did that work out well? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, no. Uh, but he he actually went to the gala at uh, his club at, at, at Magaloco and started preaching uh, the benefits of uh, uh, anarcho-capitalism, anarchists' capitalism. And, uh, you know, he said, you know, when, when uh, he said he had advice for Elon. First, he thanked Elon. He thanked Elon for being... Um, Anti-propaganda. I, I really, it's 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 kind of uh, you know bizarre. I, I I'll play it for you. I mean, if you're watching it on TV, it's it's fine because it has subtitles. But if you're listening to it on a radio, it's I'll translate it. It's not very long, but I'll translate it after it's over. Okay. Y una mayoría silenciosa, o más bien silenciada, que ha comenzado a hacerse escuchar, a pesar de los enemigos de la libertad se aferran al poder haciendo uso y abuso de la propaganda, la tergiversación. Y la censura. Y es por eso que quiero agradecer muy particularmente al gran Elon Musk por su trabajo enorme en X que ha salvado a la humanidad. Lo que ocurrió en Argentina primero y en esta selección en Estados Unidos ahora es una prueba cabal de ello. Porque en todo el mundo se están formando dos grandes posiciones antagónicas. Quienes están avergonzados de los valores de Occidente contra quienes estamos orgullosos de ellos. El partido del Estado contra el partido de los ciudadanos libres. El partido de la regulación contra el partido de la libertad. Okay, in the name of, uh, you know, his ridiculous party, uh, Parties of Freedom and Parties of the Citizen, he took all their money. He took everybody's money. He uh, literally cut the government with a chainsaw. This was his, uh, you know, appeal to to uh, the people of Argentina was he was going to uh, lower, they had hyperinflation, okay? They had what Germany had. We never had that. We never had that. Yes, it got a little pricey during the avian flu epidemic for eggs, which nobody ever wants to tell you about. The reason why eggs went up to $9, which they did, and it was frightening, was because there was an avian flu outbreak, number one. And number two, uh, you know, after it was over, uh, they needed to make up their profits, the eggs, the egg people, the eggheads did, and so they charged us, and they're still charging us. Sometimes you could see eggs for $5, and sometimes you can see eggs for less than 3 okay? Anyway, this guy here is talking about what Ronald Reagan used to talk about, a silent majority who are, uh, you know, uh, advocating for the citizens, uh, and there are people out there who are enemies of freedom, and they're propagandists, and they're trying to turn people away from his, ver- you know, version of freedom. Um, And he thanks Elon Musk for beating back the enemies of freedom, for beating back the propagandists. Seriously. Why does he know Elon Musk? Why does he know him so well? Because they've been experimenting, the doge bags have, in Argentina. Don't have time to listen to the live show? 
Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.